Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Byzantium, where we are, um, you know, we're, we're, we're being a very good boy because I want the Imperialism CB so bad. And since I need that CB, I'm uh, not declaring war on people. I actually teched up admin for the first time in forever. And we were not at war. We have no overextension. Yeah, everything's just nice and relaxed. There's no pressure. And I'm going to go completely batshit insane because we're not at war. In my brain, I am a horde. My brain, just, we have the horde mentality up there. Like, I'm sure there's some type of compassion and empathy sh little shens up there running around in my brain. Uh, but the warmonger is just the dominant influence. Always has been. He's got all the other all the other guys cornered and just punches them and gives them noogies and shit. They don't stand a fucking chance. But I guess for now they have teamed up and they have the uh, the warmonger. They 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 laced his drink with something, so he's asleep. He's asleep now. How many armies does Shen have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven armies. They're not all equal. They're just whatever. But yeah, I think what I'm going to do is instead of declaring war and just taking tons and tons of land, I'm going to sit here on my hands, be a good boy, breathe deeply. And tech up. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to tech up. I'm going to be a good boy. Moroccan separatists, huh? Dukala? No, I don't want Mor Moroccan separatists. Just convert it. And the revolt risk will go away. It's magical. Like the Portuguese separatists are going away already. Hey, we're at 50% annexation of Florence. Good times. Now, one thing I talked about that I guess we can do since we're going to be teching up is moving our capital to Rome. The autonomy is zero, unfortunately. I would love to move our capital somewhere where the autonomy is like 100. Then you move their autonomy zero instantly. Uh, but I want to move my capital to Rome. And I want to start trading in the Genoa trade node, which is going to be tough. We're going to have to compete with France. He has supreme dominance on that node. Uh, but I think we can beat him out just with lots and lots of trade ships. What's our fleet limit? Uh, we can build another 35 trade ships. Okay. And we can build another 140 soldiers. Wow. Holy crap. All right. Please no revolt. Please no revolts. Good. So I'm pretty sure that means... Oh, shit. Hey! Eileen the First has taken control as Basil Basilissa Eileen I von Habsburg at the young age of 17 and her heir Thomas von Habsburg. 324. All right. So Thomas, unfortunately, is very mediocre. All these stats are exactly mediocre. 333s three, three, three all the way across. But he has a strong claim, so I can't complain about that. And he's not below average, so I can't complain about that either. And Eileen is pretty good. Pretty good, Eileen. Oh, man. That means we lost stability again, doesn't it? Yeah, what's this? Abolition of Slavery Act. Whoa. What does this do? Missionary strength goes down for 10 years. And we get the Abolition of Slavery Act for the rest of the game, which means we lose taxes, but stability is cheaper. Why would I care? Do I even have any slaves? Do I even have any slaves? Let me see. Trade goods. I do. I do have slaves. I have one. No, no, that's not true. Okay, I have a couple more over here. I have three provinces of slaves. That's it. Just three. Why Why you look at me? It's only three slaves. It's fine. It just, just turn a blind eye. It's fine. It's fine. So do I want to lose national tax for the rest of the game? Not really. What's the what's the upside? Stability is cheaper. 
I mean, stability. Look, look how cheap stability is. It's 35 points. And it's so cheap. I, I hate to say it, but the Romans had slaves and we're going to continue the, that, that tradition. It's only slavery. Why you have to be mad? <laughs> oh man, our relations with France are so bad. They're so bad. Oh, we lost our marriage, of course. Lost our marriage. Lost a claim on lawn shoot. That's okay. We're gonna have to... Oh, maybe we don't reclaim stuff. Once we have imperialism, you really don't need to claim stuff anymore because the cost of court is just so cheap. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to imperialism so much. All right, get relations with Muscovy. Denmark. Denmark is dead. Denmark is going to be full annexed in 10 years. 10 years and Denmark is, will be gone from the map forever. Forever. Cheaper tech for 10 years. It's only 10 years. Yeah, I would love to get rid of Defender of the Faith. Because it's just making the tech a little too expensive. But, like, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> I would have to lose a war to get rid of it. I don't want to lose a war. If, there were, if this was a multiplayer game, I could declare a war and then peace out the next day. But since this is not a multiplayer game... I would have to declare a war on, like, Tunis, full siege him down, and then force him to peace out by, I don't know, I would concede defeat. So I would lose prestige. That would get, you know, that's probably what I'm going to do. Let's get rid of Defender of the Faith. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it! That's what I'm going to do. When's our truce up? Three years? Oh. Oh. Three years. Three years. Three years. Three years. Is there anyone else out there that's like a little one province miner? That I can just concede defeat? Semyon? Not even Jewish. Not even Jewish Semyon. Ugh. No, Elodia would take a long... There's just too much land. And he has one, two, three forts. Yeah, four forts. Nah, it'd just take too long. It, it would be faster to do Tunis because he doesn't have forts. That's how dumb it is. It would be faster to get rid of Defender of the Faith by declaring on Tunis. Wait three years, go to war, siege him down in months, peace out, lose Defender of the Faith. Happy day. It'd be faster to do that than it would be to siege down four forts in Elodia. Super cheap decor? I don't care. I don't want the land. I do not want this land. I do not want this land. We're looking for Roman borders, not fucking Sudan. Did, did, did Rome ever own Sudan? I don't think so. I know they had Egypt. And if they had Upper Egypt, then maybe they had some of Sudan. But no, nah, I just don't want to go down there. All right, let's lower funding on the army because we don't need it right now. 101 ducats a month. Nice. Hungry coalition. Oh, here comes the coalitions. I lowered funding. I lowered funding. That means you better declare. Go on, declare. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go on. I know you want to. Go on. Don't be little shits. You can do it. I believe in you. 289 aggressive expansion on Bohemia. 
211 aggressive expansion on Hungary, 322 aggressive expansion on Saxony, 226 aggressive expansion on Munster, 239 aggressive expansion on Bar, 363 aggressive expansion on Switzerland. Do it! Declare! Black flag soldiers in the Sahara. Oh, I forgot about this army. Whoops! Thank you. How did I forget about them? I thought for sure I had moved them up. Hey, trading in slaves happened to us. Yeah, tariffs. We don't have any tariffs. That's unfortunate. How much total development? Like 3,000? Yeah, 3,400. Not bad. Could be better. We're losing claims because we're not going to war. It makes me so sad. And the good news is we're making pretty damn good monarch points, though. Pretty damn good monarch points. Ooh, yes. Start catching up on those military points that we need. When can I do this? Two years. Okay. Gold means. How's our inflation? Oh, it's like gone. It's like gone. We've had inflation advisors for the past 100 years and it's brought our inflation down to like zero. Nice. You want Roman borders must conquer Mesopotamia? Um, eh. I'm not gonna go east. Maybe at the end of the game. If the coalition ever fires, disband the HRE. Uh, yeah, uh, that's a good point, actually. Well, Oldenburg is not in the coalition and Bohemia is not. So we would need those two guys to join. But then, yeah, we could. Wait, Holland's not either? No, we... What is this? White piece. White piece, okay. Holland. Oh, Bohemia just joined. Okay, good. Holland and Oldenburg would have to join for that to work. Mmm, Tech 21, baby. There goes Holland. Okay, so if Oldenburg joins the coalition, then yeah, you're spot on. Then we can dismantle the Empire. I would love to do that. Use my trade fleet. Am I not using my trade fleet? Oh, you mean the new trade fleet? Well, the new trade fleet is still constructing, but yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And I do need to eat Lisbon if um, if I want to do like I'm saying and start getting trade from Genoa, which would be a lot of ducats. Uh, I need to. Oh man, 77. I need to eat Lisbon. It's just too important to leave it there. Yeah, we need Lisbon. All right, so next tech is 22. That gives us another idea group. I have no idea what we're going to take there. Now, you guys want to do a straw poll for the next idea group? I'll show you what's available. Innovative, economic, expansion, humanist, espionage, diplomatic, trade, exploration, maritime, aristocratic, quality, quantity, and naval. And I'll show you what we already have. We have religious, influence, defensive, offensive, and we're about uh, we're about a third of the way through administrative, but we haven't finished it. Yeah, do a straw poll. Don't just hey Oldenburg joined the coalition. Nice. Do a straw poll. Don't just spam and chat because I'm not going to be able to see all the all that. Hmm. Saxony just left the coalition. And he is an elector. God damn it, Saxony. Why would you leave the coalition? Why you do this? Why you do this?
All right, well, Vassal annexation's at 65% and ticking along just fine. It's gonna finish in about seven years. Austria always wants access, but he can never have it. He's a bad little boy. Lost a claim on Mainz. Oh man, we're losing claims all over the place. I'm being a peaceful boy and I'm losing all my claims. <laughs> France declared on Fox. Oh my God. France's colonies are huge. These guys are huge. 40% independent desire. 24%. They have like very low independence desire. Thank you, Das Coot. Oh, Bohemia joined Frankfurt in a war against Saxony. Saxony declared on Frankfurt. Oh God, Saxony, you idiot. You idiot! Why you do this? Oh, the world's a crazy place. Yeah, everyone's in on this war. Although it is kind of even, isn't it? Saxony versus Bohemia, pretty much. Saxony's voting for himself. When's our truce up with Portugal? 17 times. Eight years. Ugh. I'm not going to get Lisbon anytime soon. All right. Who's winning this uh, straw poll here? Trade is winning. Trade and quality. All right. Well, trade would be nice. Get a whole bunch of cash flowing in. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, trade is our smallest income by far. Temporary morale of armies bonus. Not bad. Use espionage to catch up on tech. That's... That's an interesting idea. I, I hadn't even considered that. I have a bigger name than Muscovy? I do not. Look at that. You think I have a bigger name than Muscovy? His font is like twice as large as my font. I have a bigger name than France and a way bigger name than the Commonwealth, but he is annexing Denmark, so his name is about to get massive. You know what sucks is we're not getting any Monarch points from Power Projection. We haven't had Power Projection forever because we can't rival anyone except our allies, and I don't want to rival my allies. I just don't. We have 100 trust with France, we have 100 trust with the Commander, we have 100 trust with Persia. I don't want to rival my allies. Isn't that sad? I'm being such a good boy. Well, with 8,000 ducats, I think we can afford to beef up our army a bit because we are under our limit by 160,000 soldiers. So yeah, let's beef up a bit. Let's build a stack here in Calabria. Build a stack here in Hunyad. Build a stack in Vienna. Uh, let's build a stack here in Carthage. And a stack in Jerusalem. And a stack in Georgia. Or Circassia. Did that say we're going to go over our limit? 464. Whoops. Uh, now you have to cancel all these. Damn it. You think there'd be a nice button just to cancel all of that recruitment all at once? No, 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 no. You got to click on each one separately. Yeah, I definitely overstepped my bounds there. 
I'm glad this indicator shows you red. Red is bad. Red is bad. I wish these buttons were bigger. I'll just cancel these two armies down here. That should be fine. Yeah, I'd rather be a little bit under the limit than over the limit. There we go. Muscovy broke their alliance with Ming. Really? Oh, because they have a direct border now. Yeah, Muscovy big. <laughs> I built ships on the wrong side of the Suez Canal. Well, isn't that just encouragement to build the Suez Canal? Prophets in Mecca. My Basilissa. An unusual number of nobles and merchants from all over the Islamic world have made their pilgrimage to Mecca this year. The increased traffic of these wealthy persons has bolstered local trade. How should we collect the taxes? Plus five mercantilism, plus two mercantilism, or just crap. Yeah, I'll take plus five mercantilism. Holy shit, can we get this more often, please? Fuck me, that's good. We're up to, is that 31 mercantilism? Uh, it is 31 mercantilism. Nice. And yes, Mecca is Orthodox, but that doesn't mean that doesn't mean the Muslims don't still have their holy sites there, right? We'll allow them some tourism, why not? Not many Muslims left on the map. Is that true? Well, Shia, I mean I'm not sure do do Shia Muslims still go pilgrimage to Mecca? They go on that Hajj? There are some Muslims, there are some Sunnis in West Africa and in Southeast Asia, but yeah, you're right. There's really not much on the map anymore. A lot of it's been removed. Okay, our truce is up with Tunis pretty soon, so I should be uh, nomming on his face. I mean, I, I don't need to claim, do I? No, I can just declare war, holy war. Yeah, our truce is up right now, actually, so let's fund the army. I'm just going to siege him down. He doesn't have any forts or anything, right? No, he has no forts. So I'll siege him down, and we'll force him to accept peace on our terms, and that peace will be, I want to concede defeat so that I can lose Defender of the Faith. It's all Muslims? Okay, so it's not It's not just Sunnis, it's Shia as well. Thank you. See, this is stuff I just don't know. All right, let's do this. Now, this war should not last very long. He has no forts. And the idea is just to uh, surrender to him. Concede defeat. You win, Tunis. You are too strong. By the way, the Commonwealth has no heir. How old are you? 23. All right. Unfortunately, I don't get a union if they die. Aww. But me? So at full funding, are we still making money? Yeah, I'm making 30 ducats a month. Nice. Yep, his capital fell already. Oh, is this a... No, oh, his capital's over here. I thought his capital's over... His army was over here, so I assumed his capital was there as well. It was not. But we do have a full five bonus to our dice rolls. So we should be all right here. Should finish very quickly. Is it tech-up time? It sure is. Uh, Petrine Infantry. Military Tactics, Maneuver, and Cav Shock. 
And what is Petrine Infantry? What does it say? Petrine Infantry have their roots in the defeat of the Russian armies at the Battle of Narva during the Great Northern War. The army had been decisively routed by the better trained and but numerically inferior Swedish army, and the army needed new tactics if it wanted to succeed. Trained with iron discipline, the, Pe the Petrine army excelled in defense. Their tactics were built around wearing down the enemy's ability to fight through sheer staying power. Neat. I love reading those things. At least the first time I read it. No, it's not Rip Tunis. We're going to surrender to Tunis. I'm going to concede defeat. Can I do it right now? Yeah, I can concede defeat right now. Perfect. Yay, no more Defender of the Faith. In fact, I should have done that before I teched up. <laughs> ha! I really should have done that before I teched up. I just wasted 5% of my Monarch points. Oh well. I'm a dummy. Anyway, we got rid of Defender of the Faith, which means uh, we are now able to tech up with, you know, no increased coring co with no increased cost, and we're getting really close to um, Tech Twenty Three, which is another lowering of admin efficiency, which is or normally increase in admin efficiency, which is nice. Uh, but we're still a long way off of Advanced Causes Belly, which is Imperialism, and for that, I think I should change my focus over to Diplomatic. So let's do that quickly. And then once we have the Imperialism, we'll switch back to Admin Focus. All right, that's going to do for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. I've been Shen, you've been you. Come back next time where we will hopefully get Imperialism and start kicking some butt. I'll see you then. Have a good day.